Okay, hey everyone, we are doing thermoregulation in ectotherms this week. Um, so this will be our second lab report, but it's going to be the first one that you guys actually hand in. So we'll, we'll talk more about this probably next week. And this week's just going to be collecting the data. Um, so ectotherms, these are guys that can't produce their own heat, right? So they need to use sources from the environment to heat themselves up and sustain a livable habitat, right? So if you look in Blackboard, there's a Komodo dragon video. And similar to this guy in the top left, they use, well, big rocks, which are like darker in color, which absorb a ton of light, and they'll just spread themselves out on that, right? And this makes it so that they're absorbing as much heat as possible. But there are going to be times when they want to change that temperature, right? So instead of sitting out on a rock, they have to go into the shade. And it'll be somewhere like, you know, this area. Where there's not much going on, not a lot of light is going to penetrate through the canopy to get to this lower boundary. And there's just shade everywhere. And this is what we're going to be playing with this week. So we're going to be using little thermometers and going out to the Thomas Cooper Library. And you guys are going to be finding different microhabitats, right? So we're going to call like any little detail here a microhabitat. So right, this little stretch of land that's in open in the sun is different from back here where there's a bunch of shade. And we're going to be testing how quickly or how slowly the rate of heat loss in our little peeps is compared to, well, in one habitat compared to the other. And the nice thing about Thomas Cooper Library is there's a bunch of variables. So there's a couple heat vents. There's a um, the reflective pool, which we can put our peeps in, but we have to make sure that they don't float away. And then there's a bunch of, you know, sunny areas, but I don't know if it'll be sunny at 8.30 or as sunny as I'd hope. So we'll see. Um, so yeah, that's the main premise behind all of this. So a lot of organisms lose heat in different ways and function in different ways, right? And like if you were looking at, I don't know, a mammal in this graph, right? We're going to be somewhere up here and it's just going to be a flat line for the most part. And that's just how we are because we can regulate our own body temperature and we can use our energy to produce heat. Whereas like all of these guys can't. So any little dip in temperature can result in this big curve going down. And we're going to look for patterns like that or less steep patterns, right? So like right over here. And then finally, we are going to be reading a paper this week, at least for one of your worksheets. And it's comparing uh, thermoregulation in a few species. So you'll be going through and answering a couple questions on that. And, I, and that'll be your only worksheet for this weekend or for this week. Yes. So we will talk more in class, but this was just a brief overview of the lecture. And I will see you later this week. Have a good one.